then loosen the screws of the DC plus and minus bus cables as indicated using the Allen keys and remove the DC bus cables. Next, loosen the screws of the brake cables as indicated using the Allen keys and remove the brake cables. Next, you have to loosen the four screws of the two shield plates as indicated. Now, unscrew the three screws of the current sensor as indicated. Next remove the MK1 connector. Now remove one end of the MK2 connector connected through a blue wire fixed in the current sensor plate. The blue wire of the MK2 connector is a connection to the midpoint of the DC capacitors and is used for stabilizing the voltage across the capacitors. Finally, you have to unscrew the three screws of the current sensor plate connected to the bus bars as indicated. Now, remove the current sensor from the three clips. The next step in the disassembly of FC Automation Drive C enclosure is the IGBT module. To remove the IGBT module, you need to remove the terminal plate and the bus bar unit first, and then remove the gate wires for the IGBTs. To remove the terminal plate, you have to remove the two cables connected to the brake IGBT. Follow by removing the terminal plate by unscrewing the four screws of the terminal plate. Now, lift the terminal plate. Next, you need to remove the bus bar unit. Let me list out to you the instructions to remove the bus bar unit. First, you have to unscrew the four screws of the two 1 microfarad 1000 volts clamping capacitors as indicated. Then remove the clamping capacitors. Now disconnect the end of the MK2 connector blue wire connected to the bus bar. Next unscrew the seven screws of the bus bar unit, as indicated. Now, you have to remove the bus bar cables, plus and minus, connected to the bus bar, as indicated. Finally, remove the bus bar unit. Now, you have disassembled the bus bar unit. Now, remove the gate wires for the IGBTs. The next part to be disassembled is the IGBT module. Let me now list out to you the instructions to remove the IGBT module. First, unscrew the eight screws of the IGBT that is two screws of each of the four IGBTs as indicated. You have done with the disassembly of the IGBT module. The next part to be removed is the RFI filter. To remove the RFI filter, you need to remove the cables connected to the bus bar. First unscrew the three screws connecting the cables to the bus bar as indicated.
then unscrew the four screws, fixing the chassis, as indicated. Remove the RFI filter. The next part, to be removed, is the inrush PCB. In order to remove the inrush PCB, first you have to remove the connector, TP1-806. Then unscrew the six screws, of the inrush PCB, as indicated. You have done with the disassembly of the inrush PCB. The next part to be disassembled is the rectifier module. In order to remove the rectifier module, you need to remove the following. First, unplug the six strips of wires of TP1-806 connector. Follow by unscrewing the eight screws of the bus bar unit as indicated. Remove the bus bar unit. Then, unscrew the three nuts of the RFI filter bus bar channel using nut driver. Lift the bus bar channel of RFI filter. Finally, unscrew the six screws of the rectifier module, that is two screws, of each of the three rectifiers. Now, remove the rectifier module. The next part to be removed, is the fan assembly. In order to disassemble, the fan assembly, of the C1 unit, unscrew. The two screws, holding the fan unit, as indicated. The disassembly of, the C2 fan unit, differs from, that of the, C1 fan unit. The C2 enclosure, has two fans, whereas, the C1 enclosure, has a single fan. In order to disassemble, the fan assembly, of the C2 unit, unscrew, the 3 plus 2 screws holding the fan unit, as shown. The final part, to be removed, during disassembling of, FC automation drive, C enclosure, is the capacitor banks. For C1, unscrew the 8 screws, that is, four screws, of each of the two capacitors, as indicated. For C2, unscrew the 16 screws, that is, four screws, of each of the four capacitors, as indicated. You have done with, the disassembly of the capacitor banks. With this, we come to the end of, the disassembly of, FC automation drive, C enclosure. Hope you must have, gained knowledge, on how to disassemble, AFC automation drive, C enclosure, and I hope that, this training will help you out, in disassembling the drive, during faulty situations.